we're focusing our attention on the remarkable realm where artificial intelligence meets the financial industry. AI is already reshaping our landscape, helping make financial transactions better, faster and smarter. And three leading experts join us now to share their insights with us. Tom Schack, Chief Innovation Officer at SWIFT. Dr. Richard Harmon, VP Global Head of Financial Services at Red Hat. And Dr. John Overton, CEO at Cove. Thank you all for joining us here on Cybos TV. We're back again. In. It's, it's great to be here. It's always great to see you. Tom, I'll start to, uh, by asking you to paint a picture of the current state of the payments industry and the challenges that AI is in a unique position to solve. Yeah, I mean, AI is, is we're definitely in the early stages of, of the AI journey, uh, but it is different this time and it has lots of, uh, lots of promise. And so we've made really good progress you know, in our, in our goal to uh, deliver instant and frictionless payments, but this is, this is really going to help. And so um, we think, you know, kind of narrow it down, I think, to think about it more generally, um, AI really does two things for you. Actually, it helps you make um, predictions, right? And you can actually detect and track um, patterns. Mm. And so with those two things, um, uh, it, it allows you to do things like uh, track historical patterns of fraud, for example, that then could be applied to prevent fraud in the future. Mm. You know, we could look at how payments are done successfully and, and we can, we can uh, determine optimal payment routes, for example, as options of things we can do. And in terms of, you know, the, 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 the forecasting and predictions, you know, in a payments more generally, you can predict cash flows. You can predict how customers might buy things. So there's lots of kind of predictive things. I think the important thing is, is that um, the level of kind of insights and automation that it brings is kind of far beyond what we do today. Mm. Now our audience is understandably keen to understand the tangible impact that AI is having on the financial services industry. Uh, Richard, could you please share a brief overview of how AI is helping institutions to address previously unsolvable challenges? Yeah, and I think what Tom hit, it, it's sort of still the early stages, but it really impacts almost every aspect of financial services. You know, from how you onboard customers, how you interact with customers, how you evaluate the credit and risk of customers. It also even goes into areas around regulators understanding, you know, risks in the wider marketplace to protect society as a whole. So it's, uh, it's going to be even more and more prevalent as things mature, but it's, it's super exciting in terms of the range of use cases that's there. Tom, I want to come back to you and talk about uh, f financial crime and fraud, because even though the f payment sector is innovating, at the same time, the bad guys <laughs> are also innovating. So uh, can you talk about how AI-powered solutions can help combat that? Yeah, and we, we, the work that we're doing and the research we're doing now is really focused on the high priority use cases around anomaly detection. You know, so one thing that wouldn't be normal, you know, could be fraudulent activity. And, uh, and there's, there's, there's lots of advances that we can make on that. You know, historically, the way th these things are handled is that they're done by rules engines, right? So something happens in the past or historically, and you write a rule to detect that when it happens. Well, you know, the, the bad actors here are, with this, with this uh, evolving threat, you know, continue to innovate too, right? So, so what we have today works pretty well, but we need to build on top of that, and we need to make it kind of more robust in terms of the evolving threat. And so with the AI work that we're doing now, I mean, again, it brings capabilities that we have, you know, for predictions. Um, and I think the, 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 the continuous learning part is important as well, because once you have it solved, you know, they're going to move some other way, they're going to attack some other way. And so we're going to focus on, as a priority, anomaly detection. You know, what ha what's not normal? What haven't we seen before? And then do that in a very accurate way, working with our banks and our community to identify that and, and be able to prevent the fraud before it happens in the first place. John, if I can bring you in here, how do you see AI uh, driving change in the, in the payments industry? These are exciting times. Uh, both our, my colleagues here have said we're at the very beginning, but let me project what could be, and not far from now. What if you could model the entire worldwide flow of money, and you could do it completely synthetically? There's no way to isolate that to a bank, or, and you could do that accurately. Actually, SWIFT is doing this right now. They have research for this. Now, now let's imagine that you have that and you want to write models to do the kind of anomaly detection that Tom was uh, discussing. 
um, one of the partners that are involved in the project is Argonne National Laboratory. They have a computer that once this synthetic data generator is done, can process um, what a server in Swift does in a day. They can do 28,000 years of computation in the same time. That's before Homo sapiens arrived on Earth. <laughs> Imagine Incredible. what you can do with that. Amazing. Mm -hmm. That's here. Uh, yeah, the future is now, right? Uh, Richard, we know companies have access to this kind of cutting edge AI technology today. So can you maybe give a, an example of a, a real world application that's already making a significant impact? Yeah. Well, obviously, beside what, what, what Tom and Cybos are doing on, on the SWIFT side, um, I think the, you know, there's, there's one particularly interesting example which, you know, extends to a lot, and this came from um, Terry Silver, who is an analyst at IDC, and he's describing uh, an institution that has generative AI in the background, and it's around customer service agents. So the, the call comes in, the agent's talking to the person. The Gen, I, Gen AI model is listening to the conversation based upon the conversations, giving recommendations and guidance. You know, customer service, onboarding. So the ability of AI to enhance and, um, and standardize, you know, how you support customers through lots of different human interactions, but leveraging that interaction to make better decisions to get the right information to the customer. You know, and that's sort of a, a, I think a simple, very attractive example, and it spreads into all other kinds of use cases. Mm. Uh, Tom, with innovation uh, comes understandable fears uh, at times, sometimes concerns. Um, what are some of the barriers or perhaps misconceptions uh, that might hinder AI reaching its, its full potential in the payments industry and, and how can we overcome these? Yeah, I mean, with every emerging and new technology, you know, there's, there's lots of good things can be done with it and people use it for, to do bad things and, and evil, right? So we know that and AI is not any different in that, in that case. I think what we, the things that we really need to focus on um, as we introduce the modeling and, and, and kind of these capabilities and, and the research that we're doing, um, first and foremost, we need to be really careful uh, to not uh, have any degradation or, or, or stepping back in terms of data privacy and data security. Um, that's always been important. Um, uh, for the industry, uh, it's it, it's something that that you know you you do have some exposures in that, but that needs to be dealt with and kind of built um, from the ground up. Uh, the second thing is is you know in in financial services, um, there's no, no such thing as anonymous. Mm -hmm. You can't just roll out a black box, right? Um, you know we've we've heard that from our customers. We would never expect to build something like that. So this this idea of of explainability, you know, if you come up with a risk measurement or or um, some kind of assessment on a transaction, for example, you make a prediction, you need to be able to explain that. Well, why, why did that happen? So, so this all has to be done really, really responsibly. Uh, it has to be done you know, realizing there's gonna be um, new risk that manifests itself as the new technology and the modeling is rolled out. And so we have very strong governance and a really strong track record, and it's a priority for the company and the industry to get that right. But we need to stay, we need to stay on top of that, we need to stay Diligent, we need to be able to have transparency and explainability of what we do. The one other thing that's, that's kind of interesting um, is we need to do this in a cost-effective and affordable way. Mm. And, and um, the cost of compute and, and in other areas of AI, and you see reports today about how much it costs to, to train the next generation of a large language model or chat GPT or, 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 or the likes. Um, that cost um, and, and the energy that's consumed to mm. do that is a real, is a real um, factor that needs to be dealt with up front. So we need to do it in a cost-effective way. Uh, we need to do it um, uh, in, in a way that, that doesn't overuse energy. And, and, and we need to make sure that we get results that are explainable. Mm, I, I want to get uh, uh, John to pick up on that. Uh, you just mentioned uh, computing power and, and energy consu consumption. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, your teams have managed to, to overcome some of that and making AI, AI powered solutions more accessible and, and attainable? Well, I'll, I'll um, thank my colleague here from Red Hat. Um, you know, my company, Cove and uh, Red Hat, we have a technology that can reduce energy signature 12.5 to 14% on the smallest side and 54% on the upper side. Now, just imagine that you could say to a cloud provider, I'm going to cut your power signature in half or everything that Swift does in half. We're doing that. 
I mean, it's tremendous. Now imagine the impact on climate. Every financial services company is facing this problem and they will face it more. And they're actual solutions right now. Yeah. Look into the future, uh, Tom. It's inspiring to think about the possibilities that AI could open up here. Uh, but what positive changes can businesses and individuals anticipate as the technology is further integrated uh, into the payments world, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think payments and even more broadly in financial services, I, I think the, the impact is going to be profound. Um, again, we're just kind of at the early stages of this. Um, but whether you're looking at uh, customer service, whether you're looking at uh, software development, you're looking at uh, models and, and machine learning, mm -hmm. you know, to, to track anomalies and, and, and really um, understand the flow and look for problems. I, it, it's hard to think about any part of the industry that's not going to be impacted by this in, in kind of the medium to, to long term. Uh, Richard, can you leave us on, a, on an, an optimistic note as well there? A, a glimpse into the future about where AI has truly transformed the way we perceive payments and financial uh, transactions? Yeah, I, I can see where with AI we create sort of a digital copy of the transaction system which you're doing and then be able to have AI embedded in that where you can identify in the future potential hidden versions of, of, of criminal behavior that you can then model and simulate. In other words, the agents are trying to figure out and learn how to commit crime against the rest of us, right? And you use those examples as a way of identifying. It's an anomaly, but you're creating the anomalies to, to really uh, identify it based upon, you know, billions and billions and billions of transactions. So, you know, there's, there's it, you can, you know, you can just literally think of of hundreds of examples of that kind of application. But the generative AI aspect of it makes it incredibly powerful. Uh, wow. Well, gentlemen, it's always fun and fascinating to catch up. Uh, and I can't wait to find out where we are with this in another 12 months time. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for joining us on Cybos TV. Uh, Tom Schack, Chief Innovation Officer at SWIFT. Dr. Richard Harmon, VP Global Head of Financial Services at Red Hat. And of course, Dr. John Overton, CEO of Cove. Thank you all for sharing your expertise and insight uh, for the immense potential that AI has, AI has uh, to reshape the payments landscape.